somebody was saying that I was such a bad person <laughs> for throwing in the refrigerator. We had many boys had a little fun on one of the videos. Somebody was saying I was a bad person for throwing the refrigerator out the door instead of giving it away to like you know a men's shelter and everything. I care too much about men's Men shelters, shelters to give and this people. refrigerator to them. Ooh, wait. I'm going to open it up. No, don't open it. Don't open it. I'm going to open it up. Don't open it. And give y'all a sneak peek. It's gonna come on. No, come on. it's going to smell. It's going to smell bad for like come days. Come on in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where you going, man? Where you What does it smell like? It smells like spoiled cabbage. Far worse than I, I feel like I need to take a bath after opening it. It's like every did that get in here like it got came I, like I, I held my breath. I think a little bit of it got on my finger though. I forgot to wash my hands. I've burned out like a wandering ember. I shone bright and my journey was over. What I sought when I ran was back where I began. No matter the rain, no matter the storm, I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Morning, IG family. Getting going this morning, and uh, finally finna get started with these gutters. On Emma back here. I'm gonna walk y'all in here. Just check on the boys. <clears throat> I just got done with my coffee and got done uh, just doing a couple things with the videos, editing, responding to comments, and all those good things. And uh, y'all, I love we love y'all's comments, so keep them coming. We might not get a chance because we have so many comments coming in now that the channel has grown. We have thousands of comments coming in on each video. But uh, Megan and I try to tag team and, you know, respond to as many as we can, respond to the comments, the emails, the phone calls, the text messages. And uh, it's a blessing because you all have been so generous and donating. And just, it's just it's just amazing. Sending us the gifts. Let's see what the boys got going on. As y'all can see, the boys are in here in the little homeschool room. It's a nice day out today. So uh, they're able to be in, in here and do homeschool. But, yeah, we, yeah, they seem to be doing good in there. So uh, I get them set up with their post homeschool stuff. Uh, they're probably gonna do some coloring or something like that. And then Megan gonna help them like cut out like little crafts and stuff like that. Let's go over here and take a look at this at Emma, the big long mother home, <laughs> and see what these uh, gutters are looking like. Cause I'm I'm just gonna have to, you know, I think it's about it's a chance of rain here and there uh, throughout the week, but uh, mostly it's not gonna be raining until about Friday. So I got. I have four good days to get these old, whatever these things are, gutters, I don't know what you call them, to get these down. So I don't know if you can see those things up there or not, but I'll get you a better shot later on once I get up on the ladder. But they had these little metal tray looking things along the edges of the mobile home all the way around. Sun's bright this morning. And so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put up new white gutters with downspouts and everything. But first I have to get these things here out of the way and it's gonna be rough <laughs> for real because um most of you homeowners you know if you sit it silly but people who had never had a, a camper you know or a mobile home you probably don't know you know but uh mobile homes and uh campers they use a uh, butyl tape to uh you know put behind everything that you have to drill into and then you caulk around the edges and that butyl tape is something else <laughs> you know it's been on for a while 
And so it's gonna be a lot of butyl tape. Let me see, this will, this will give a good shot of what they look like. So there are screws screwed into the top of them and then there's butyl tape behind it. And so I have to unscrew the screws and then scrape all the butyl tape out the back of it. And then they should come right down. And they, they have them in about, uh, let's see, it's about 10 foot sections of these little, little gutters. So they come down one piece at a time. And that's a good thing because I would need help if I had to get the whole thing down in one piece. But it might be a little bit easier than I think it's gonna be. But uh, we're finna get started working with that. And hopefully it will be nice if I can get them all down today and start to start actually putting up gutters tomorrow because uh, I actually have to go to Home Depot. We actually went there and priced them and everything and got, you know, how many we need. Uh, I think the gutters come in, uh, what was it? Because I think we needed 16 of them. I think they, they, they came in 10 foot sections, that's right. And uh, so we got 80 foot on the front, 80 foot on the back. And, uh, you know, that should, that should give us gutters all the way, way across the front and the back. We're enjoying life back in our camper. It's just simple. We love it. We love it. We love just a simple life. And we love camping. You know, uh, some, some of Megan and I's first dates were, were, were spent camping and things like that. So we just love camping and we love being on the property and not having to drive back and forth to the city. We're just loving this new season that the Lord has us in. And we're embracing it with his challenges, <laughs> you know, and with his, with his blessings as well. You know, because the challenges just make us stronger. You know, the Bible talks about counting all joy. When you go through various trials and tribulations because because the testing of your faith produces patience. You know, and the Lord is building us up and building our endurance. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and stop talking, y'all, and get to work, get on these ladders. I'm not looking forward to getting up on the ladder because my legs are still kind of, <laughs> you know, sore from pressure washing and doing all that type of stuff on the ladder and going up and down it. But I'm going to get started, y'all. Let's see what we can get done today. Y'all just join us for this journey. All right, y'all, so I got the first one off. And as y'all can see, I started the process. You had these little screws here, and some of them are covered up with like that metal uh, uh, roof coating that they had on here before we did the, the uh, rubber roof coating. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, I just gotta, like I say, just piddle along, get each screw out, and then uh, take the crowbar and crow it off because it has this uh, butyl tape back here behind it. And I just gotta take my time and work my way on down. There's not much to see here. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk y'all around and see the progress, show y'all the progress rather that Tim has made so far on uh, removing the little gutter tray things. And uh, yeah, we'll go um, and get the actual gutters that we're going to install. But for now, I just want y'all to see what he's done so far. The look of Emma just continues to transform. So we remove those kind of rusty, you know, dark, uh, gutter trays and it's just brightening up the front of it even more and we're gonna come with nice fresh white gutters so yeah you can see here it's starting to look like a construction site those things all you know dirty rusty and removed and now I'll walk you around there's another little piece Tim is making his final cut on the last little piece that's hanging on
You did it. Mission complete. All right. All right, so what we got left to do now? I got to do a little bit of touch up, clean up on the butyl tape, but uh, the new butyl tape should, should kind of just. I had your zone damn zone up. Yeah. yeah. The new butyl tape should kind of just, uh, you know, kind of form in with that as well. But I scraped some of the heaviest stuff off. But other than that, we got the old ones down. It's time to go up with the new ones. And so I'm gonna probably run this evening to Home Depot and get all my gutters and everything and start trying to figure out a way to get them installed tomorrow <laughs> by myself. I might have to tell Megan to take off to give me extra hand. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, so I guess we'll pick y'all up tomorrow. We're putting up gutters. See y'all in the morning. All right, y'all, we're ripping and rolling this morning. I, <laughs> a little bit frustrated, but uh, it's all good. You know, the Lord is trying to find somebody to bless this morning. But uh, the electrician uh, has been putting us off for about three weeks. And I called him this morning and he still is not, still, still not, it's still, still is not going to come. <laughs> and so I had, I called around all this morning, I prayed, I looked at that meter box myself and I was just finna get ready to start trying to hook the wires up myself. But uh, one of the guys that I called, cause I just Googled, you know, licensed electricians in the area. And uh, I called one guy and he wasn't available, but he said, I got another guy that might be able to come get to you today. Cause the other guy said he had just started a big job. And so that guy just called me. He said he about to, he, he's about 30 minutes away, and he's going to come and take a look at it and try to get it done for us. I told him, I said, just please come and overcharge me if you have to. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we're going to pause on the gutters for a minute. And uh, I got all my gutters. Let me just take you over here and show them to you. You really can't see them because I have them strapped down so well. But I went yesterday to Home Depot and got all my gutters and everything. So I'm going to start getting those gutters up once the electrician leaves. And uh, hopefully he'll get, get, get us hooked up today. He still has to go and get material and things like that. But I hope that he gets us, gets us taken care of. But let me just turn you around let's see these gutters about. So pretty simple. Like I said, just white gutters. These are the downspouts. The gutters are down here. Like I said, I have everything strapped in good. And I got some end caps and things like that. Uh, got my screws that secure the gutter to the, to the mobile home. But yeah, I got it packed in tight. It, it doesn't look like a six, seven hundred dollars worth of material, but it is. So uh, once the electrician leaves, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting them. You can see the guns a little bit better, but they're uh, what is that aluminum? Yep. All right, they had plastic as well, but I went with aluminum gutters. But yeah, uh, as soon as the electrician leaves today, hopefully he'll get us hooked up. But uh, we should have some gutters in by the end of the day, hopefully. And uh, we don't have rain until about two or three days from now, so it's not any rush because I know one one full day of work I can get these gutters in. But let's hit pause for a second on the gutters, and then let's see what I. This uh, new electrician does, and uh, he says he's about 30 minutes away, so he should be here soon. So we'll just pick y'all up when the electrician gets here, as long as he's cool with me recording him. All right, y'all, so the electrician just left. Uh, it's probably about, maybe like three hours later. Uh, I kind of took a little minute to kind of regroup, replan. Uh, Megan is here now. She's back there. We're finna uh, get ready to load up this old refrigerator and the old door and stuff and all this old uh, these old gutters up on the trailer. I'm gonna get the new gutters off the trailer. But the electrician came, and we have good news and bad news. And the good news is that they're gonna hook up, you know, the mobile home to the power pole so we can get power. But the bad news is that we figured out, you know, once they got here, that in order to get power, we have to pass final inspection. And the final inspection doesn't come until we have the septic hooked up, we have water lines ran, and uh, have back steps. I think that's it. So we're not gonna be able to get power right now. Even though the mobile home will be hooked up to the power pole, we're still gonna have to wait until we get septic, until we get water lines. And as you all know, our water meter is way up there at the top of the property. And so we have to get water lines ran, which is not a big deal. We're gonna do that anyway. And uh, septic and all those good things. But like I said, it's really not, 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 not bad news because we already knew we had to do those things anyway. We just thought that we were gonna be able to get power hooked up like now. You know, we thought that after they hook up the power pole to the mobile home that we'll be able to get power then but uh you know start to like do some of the renovations and have lights and things like that to be able to see inside of the mobile home but we're gonna have to wait you know until we get all those other things done which is fine because we don't plan on moving into emma the big long mobile home until about fall time beginning of winter something like that late fall beginning of winter uh early winter but uh so it's it's just uh something we had to regroup about because we thought we were going to have power and be able to power the camper off of the power pole. So uh, we might have to stay off grid for just a little while longer, but that's fine, you know, because we've kind of got some of the systems down packed and, uh, you know, we already pulled the camper out so we can get it finished. But right now, 
what we're gonna do is before I get started putting up the new gutters, Megan and I, Megan, speak to the people. Hey, <laughs> where you know it's going? <laughs> we're just walking around those praying for me. Oh, good, good. You want to pray for me before I get started? <laughs> oh, good. But yeah, Megan and I are gonna get this old refrigerator that we ever so gently got out of the mobile home, and this old door and dishwasher. We're gonna get that loaded on the trailer here but first we need to get those those new gutters off so we don't damage them so we're gonna get those new gutters off and uh then we're gonna load all this stuff up here to take to the to the uh junkyard and uh get all these old gutters up and get all this stuff loaded on the trailer to kind of get it out the way so that we can have a clear space to put our new gutters down and kind of lay them out and get an idea of how they're gonna all attach together so that's what we're gonna get ready to do now and uh we'll just set y'all up on the camera and let y'all just see us work that's right Thing. We'll take a break from all the work. Uh, Give me a cam. Uh, mm, let me let, let the women and children bag away. Y'all ready? Yeah. Let's see if I can get up. Oh, yeah. Where you going, man? I feel like I need to take a bath after opening it. It's like every like, it got, came I, like I, I, I held my breath. Oh. I think a little bit of it got on my finger though. I forgot to wash my hands. Mm. All right, y'all. <laughs> so y'all, we, we, we don't have smell of vision, but I think you saw enough to understand why we're uh, throwing this thing out. Yeah, the liquefied stuff. Pull this down, down the bottom pasture. <coughs> that is a strong smell. Strong. At least we can pull it off somewhere until we Woo. get ready to take it. Supposed to be wondering why our trailer smell like a rival freeway. <laughs> I'm like, who else that is? <laughs> Man, you have all your tools. Let this I'm not a professional.
get a type off. On. <laughs> and the little paper off. All right, so I was finna get this first girl to put up. Megan is gonna be my helper. So, uh, this is gonna either be where our marriage gets stronger or she gonna bite my head off or something and start snapping it. <laughs> Argument pending. So we realized after we got a couple screws in that the gutter was actually holding itself. So that's great news for Tim to be able to continue to put up the gutters while I'm not here. We're going to go ahead and get this gutter up and that's all we're going to do for today. So then we'll just see y'all when we pick y'all up tomorrow. As you can see, we've got here over half of Emma with gutters on. And so he's been doing a really great job of linking them together and he's having to make the section for the downspout. So we'll have a downspout right there in front of that window there. And then we'll have another one by the door. So he is working on piecing all these things together now this is his next piece that he has to put up and he's got the um, little piece connected for the downspout there he's got his butyl tape going right there we're about ready to uh, put that one up huh yep. looks good Getting it prepped. yeah it looks great this gutter put up um, the one that's right by the door and we're gonna go ahead and put up the next one so I'm gonna put the camera down for a second and help Tim All right, y'all, here it is. The finish, where well, it's almost finished. I have to uh, put a couple more screws in up top and then uh, caulk the inside of the gutters and things. But I have the downspouts. I have to cut the downspouts there and then uh, angle them, put an angle piece and get them to, you know, come away from the foundation. But uh, the, the hardest part is out of the way. Let y'all see what it looks like. Got four downspouts. Got all my gutters in up top. 
And uh, it's looking good, looking good. Like I said, I gotta cut them off and then put the angle pieces to get them, you know, away, to get the water away from the foundation. You know, that's the whole goal of the gutters. It's to catch that, that water that rolls off the roof. Got the white door, pearly white door, and the pearly white gutters. And I got them all the way down. <clears throat> no more old, uh, <laughs> rusty little gutter trays anymore. But uh, I'm looking forward to getting the piece in at the bottom and kind of angling it out. And like I said, I got to caulk uh, all the seams because I, <laughs> I don't have seamless gutters. So all the seams, I have to put a little, some gutter caulk that they have. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what it's looking like, y'all. And uh, we see, I, I haven't did the back side yet. <clears throat> I still have to do the back, but I'm done for today on this side. And it's making it look, let me just step back here. Why y'all out so y'all can see. See Emma, she's long now. <laughs> so we got to step way, way back. Let's see if we can get, get the whole mobile home in the shot. There it goes. <laughs> Big, long Emma, the mobile home. I love it, I love it. All right, y'all, so we're going to go ahead and end today's video here. I still have to do the backside. I haven't did the backside yet. I'm going to pick that up tomorrow, but I think y'all have seen enough of me doing gutters, climbing up and down the ladder. So I'm in today's video here. It's IG Farms. We'll see y'all on the next one.